so it's Tuesday. I ended up ending last week's vlog yesterday, which is not ideal. But I didn't film over the weekend. But then I didn't even get a chance to film any further yesterday because my poor son came home sick. He had a little bit of a fever and is really congested and coughing and I tested him for COVID this morning and it doesn't seem to be COVID so that's good. Um, but obviously we were just at a ski race event with people from all over the state so am I surprised that all of us are feeling a wee bit under the weather? No. <laughs> So I actually kept him home today. Um, he's upstairs resting. I was supposed to have uh, the book club tonight, but I am just, I am not feeling well either. So I don't know if I will be attending that. Um, also, I haven't even started editing last week's vlog. So I'll have to do that at some point today. Hopefully get it out today, if not tomorrow. But I am definitely a uh, rundown. So hopefully we'll all start feeling better soon and I'm just gonna go chillax and fold some laundry. To do a bit of reading, a bit more of reading. I don't know. I'm not enjoying this book as much as I thought I was going to. Yeah. I don't like any of the characters and I don't think I'm supposed to but I like to be able to like at least someone, but I don't like anybody. So there's at least a decent enough mystery that I'm curious enough to keep going. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm just not enjoying it as much as I thought I was going to. I still got that other book <laughs> that I got from the library that I'd like to delve into. And then also I started Fourth Wing a while ago and I'd really like to finish that. At least just to, to finish it. Anyway, that's it for this update. I'll try and remember to update again. I'm so bad at updating. Alright, bye. Okay. Oh my god. I can't believe I caught that. I can't believe I caught that. Uh, <clears throat> my camera just fell and I just caught it. Anyway, book mail just arrived and I'm pretty sure I know what it is and I'm excited. It's one of my pre-orders. Oh, it is. It's, it's here. Where are sleeping girls lie? Look at that cover. Oh, I am so excited to read this. This is by the same author that wrote Ace of Spades. Oh, neat. I wonder what that means. If you can see it, it's like, anyway. So excited. All right, that's it for right now. Just had to share. <laughs> hey, it's Wednesday. I'm eating my lunch. <laughs> I realized I never updated again last night. First time updating this morning. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much of an update. Honestly, I've just been like cleaning today. I really want to get my kitchen table cleaned off because my my family is notorious for eating in the living room in front of the TV and it's kind of a habit I like to break. And also, it would just be fun to start doing game nights again. We used to do game nights all the time. We haven't done one in forever. That was my goal. Then I was like, oh my god, these floors look terrible. When was the last time I, like, mopped? So, that's what I've been doing. I've been picking up and mopping and doing the floors. And now I'm going to have some lunch. And I'm going to go back after that and do the clean off the table. Because I'd also like to have a spot to edit. Because So, I got used to editing on the MacBook. And I'm sorry, I just, I like editing an iMovie. Um... And so I tried using a different um, editing software um, upstairs on my PC, on my Windows PC, but I just, I, I wasn't liking it. And so I was kind of just like, I stopped really filming <laughs> because I just, I hated that software so much. Um, I didn't enjoy it. And so 
as long as my husband isn't like doesn't have to travel or go anywhere he's letting me use his macbook again i want like a space that i can set it up and do it and just in the living room is just not as enjoyable so i'd like to have the kitchen table back for that also but other than that i don't really have much to else to update i don't want to dnf this book but i am just it's starting to feel like a chore to pick up and read it and I don't and that doesn't make me happy and also I can't help it but I showed yesterday but my book mail came in where sleeping girls lie and I don't know <laughs> like, do I want to jump into that I've got a million other things to read so I don't know I'm not having as good of a time as I was really hoping for I don't want to go into a reading slump, but at the same time, like, I really hate DNFing books because I'm a completionist at heart. But if I'm not having a good time, like, it should be okay to step away. I also still have that Murderbot book I can read, or I listen to. So yesterday I was watching TikTok and I saw some clips from the anime that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I had kind of stopped watching after the first season because I felt like, for me, the first season was kind of, I was having to push through it and it was kind of boring. But I fully understand it was like a lot of setup and now the second season has gotten real good. So, so because of those clips I saw on TikTok, I was like, mm, all right, I'll give it a shot and I, I need to finish. I need to know what's happening. And then my husband and I also finished the first season of Reacher last night so good so good <laughs> cliche ending but so good I loved it so much um so the second season has a lot to live up to yeah I think that's all I really got for this update now so my goals for today is I gotta clean off that kitchen table I need to edit that vlog I'd like to read at least 50 pages in that book if I can g bring myself to it and I wanted to pick up the living room a little bit but it that's going to be like last on my list because it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all in this living room. And so my main focus is really the kitchen right now because I'd like to have that be more communal space for us again. So I will update later, hopefully with a nice, beautiful, clean kitchen table. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Oh yeah. Just want to show off this nice, clean beautiful kitchen table it's an old grungy table but i should have taken a board for a picture because it was stacked but check it out task complete hey hey hi hello it's thursday morning um and i'm finally getting to editing last week's vlog i'm just, i'm so bad at this i've got a I've kind of got better at setting like deadlines for myself and following through with them. But I figured I would utilize my nice clean kitchen table. And so I've got my coffee in my literally dead book club cup. I've got my honeysuckle meadow candle, which is like, my current favorite um, smell. Uh, it's technically spring, and there's we had a freak random snowstorm happen, so there's snow on the ground. So I need my spring-like candle to bring me some joy right now, since it's I don't mind the snow, but it's windy and it's cold. So I'm gonna get that done. And then today I do have to do some grocery shopping, general grocery shopping, but also I want to get, I want to get snacks and like healthy meals and stuff for my son and my husband because this weekend they are going up to Whiteface Mountain for my son's last, last ski race of the season. So... I want to get them some nice healthy snacks and meals and stuff so they don't have to worry about food. 
I'm gonna go, I gotta go do that. Oh my gosh, and then I have to pick up my Gertrude Hawk fundraiser order from my son's school, which of course is only between like 3.30 and 5.30. And then I gotta turn around and bring my son back to school because he's got band practice at 6 30 so oh wow the sun just really decided to make an appearance right now those are my goals for today and then i want to add obviously reading more oh last night i totally finally finished not the book i'm physically reading of course but i finished the fifth book in the murderbot series which i believe was network effect and i really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it um i got a chance to really chat with it uh chat about it with my husband um because he's read them all oh we both agreed and felt like the first half of the book was a bit stronger than the second half but i enjoyed it a lot there was a couple things that I wish were done differently. That's coming from more of like me enjoying like sci-fi horror instead of just like sci-fi. Cause there was, there was like, there was one distinct moment that was just probably towards the mid section of the book, but it was just, it was so creepy and it was so good. And I really wanted more of that later on in the book and we didn't really get it and so it was that part was disappointing to me but like I said I am I enjoy sci-fi horror like the alien movies love them but I totally understand that this wasn't that type of book so I get it but still I would have liked it <laughs> so anyway so I'd like to finish reading the physical book I've been reading the everyone in my family has killed someone Ugh, I'd like to finish it but I'm just not having a good time I can't remember where I was going I got distracted by talking about books oh my goals for today so grocery shopping picking up my chocolate order my Easter chocolate order basically is what that is um bringing my son to band editing this editing last week's vlog and putting it out and hopefully just like starting to edit this week's vlog so I can get it out in a more appropriate time and I think just like really like creating a calendar and deadlines for myself I think would be a good idea and then also reading that book I think that's it I think that's all I got on today I gotta clean up the fridge too but that's kind of I tie that in with um with grocery shopping because <laughs> i can't get the groceries to fit in the fridge if it's not cleaned out oh and eventually i need to put out a, that sims video i filmed forever ago and just haven't edited and i wanted to a stardew valley playthrough but i wanna i wanna watch some videos to see how other people do playthroughs just to get an idea of like how I want to do it with Stardew Valley because I was thinking of like doing like 10 day chunks or something I don't know I don't know but I know I want to try out the the one point oh my gosh that was my my dishwasher just got done I know the new patch the 1.6 just came out and it's downloaded it's all installed and I know that there's a new farmland on there that I would like to play I'd like to play all of them at some point, um, but oh gosh, I've played, like, I think I've played, like, the forest one, I've played, like, the standard one, and I've done the four corners one, and I really like the four corners one, as, like, just an organizational person, it was not very organized, the things we do, uh, so, but there's, it, the new one is, um, Meadowland, and I really want to play it. I haven't sat down and played it. So uh, I might figure out how to do that. I th I've got, so really my overarching goals in life is just to like 
organize myself better and to like give myself like okay i so i work better in a much more like structured routine based environment so that's why i like i did really well at work because it was like this is break time this is lunch time this is break time you come in you go home these are the tasks that you have to do for today and so i when i became a stay-at-home mom i won't lie i did struggle a bit with feeling lost i think would be the most appropriate term for that because i didn't have the structure and the routine in place but once i did that for myself so it was like okay monday we're cleaning the kitchen tuesday we're cleaning the bathrooms like once i did that and had a list of the tasks that I would like to check off, I did so much better. However, <laughs> then the pandemic hit and everything kind of went to a hell in a handbasket because now everyone was home, which made it a lot tougher for me to keep my the standard routine that I had built for myself because it was like, okay, so this is when I'm going to go to the gym. This is when I'm going to do this. And anyway. So the pandemic hit and things became rough. Gosh, I really hate that it's like four years later and I'm still struggling a lot with with that. But it was because like somewhere along the way I stopped planning. I stopped, <laughs> I almost just stopped doing. And so now like I've really got it where I have ideas that I want to do and want to accomplish and I really do want to accomplish them and I really want to do these goals so now I really just need to sit down and flush out the my routine for myself so that's where I'm at while I'm flourishing a bit more than I have been over the past four years there's still any amount of struggle but i have to say that cleaning up the kitchen and just like cleaning up the space and having this table cleared and like the floors clean and just all of that has just it's just had a really nice impact on my mental health now i have to take the energy i put into this into like other places in my room like my cookbook stack right there but I know that progress can be made and it's not like it took me forever so it's like I understand that like baby steps like little steps equal up to big change I'm not gonna change that <laughs> so that's where I'm at that was a lot wasn't it it was anyway <laughs> all that to say I need to create a routine for myself and stick with it. Really, it comes down to I need an upload schedule. Well, first, I really need to figure out what exactly I want to upload because I've really started to kind of enjoy these vlogs even though I am so terrible at doing updates throughout the day. I am definitely a morning updater. So I gotta, so I just, I need to figure out what do I want to do? What direction do I want to take? And how do I want to upload this? And when am I going to take the time to do these things? I'm like, when am I going to take the time to sit down and play like an hour of Stardew Valley or another hour of The Sims? It's a lot to think about, but as long as I write it out, plan it out, it should all be good. Like, I'm really confident that this is all gonna work. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I'm enjoying myself and that's what matters. Anyway, I'm getting to the point where I'm just gonna start being all rambly about nonsense and nothing, so I'm gonna go edit this so I can finally get it out and go from there. Alright, I will maybe see you later, hopefully.
maybe kind of we'll see <laughs> all right bye for now everything is going great my hello fresh box just came in and i thought i would share because i'm really excited and this is one of our favorites we get this all the time the beef flautus supreme the one thing that i will say about this one is i wish there was a little bit more vegetables other than just like onions and tomatoes but my son's a huge fan and he likes it now this is the one that i'm really excited for it's this it's the apricot sumac chicken with roasted zucchini and lemony bulgur and almonds and it just sounded so good i think i'm gonna wait until they get home to make it and only because hello fresh is the only way that i've gotten my son to try new foods so i'll cook this on monday when they get back maybe i'll cook it with y'all we'll see we'll see all right that's it i just wanted to share my hello fresh <laughs> Okay, bye. It's actually a Friday afternoon. Um, I haven't done any sort of updates at all today. My focus has purely been trying to get the boys ready to leave for the weekend. To go for my son's last ski race weekend. So, that's really all I've had going on today. Yeah, yeah. So, I've been busy, busy, busy. And I am so tired. I really need a nap, which I don't know if I'm actually going to take or not. Who knows? Maybe. Probably not. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't really have much of an update. Oh, no, I do. So I finished the sixth book of the Birder Bot series, The Fugitive Telemetry. I had a great time with this one. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be because of where the fifth book left off. It seems like this one was kind of like a standalone one that falls somewhere between the fourth book and the fifth book. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, which is fine. I don't, I don't need, I don't necessarily need some big grand overarching thing happening though it's nice uh that was six books so i'm interested to see what martha wells does for in the seventh book and then i'll be all caught up and i'll have to wait it's the part about a series that i don't like um i don't like getting caught up anyhow i gave him five stars i had a great time it was just a nice little quick easy breezy murder mystery and that's about it oh so that's two books i finished this week go me none of them the book i was physically reading i'm feeling like i may give up on that one i hate doing that anyway i'm gonna go finish getting some of my tasks done and I think I'm gonna take a nap. Oh my gosh. Alright. I well who knows. Maybe I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright, bye. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday and it is crazy snow in here so I can't imagine what it's like for my husband and son where they're at okay so I don't know if I really talked about it in my vlog when I was talking about my health issues and stuff but I have high cholesterol I am finally currently making the steps to correct that and one of them is like switching to fat-free milk and I'm I am not enjoying it. I am not having a good time with it. Let me tell you, I should have made this change gradually, gradually step down. Because we went from, I went from drinking whole milk to fat-free milk. And let me tell you, mm-mm-mm, it is gross. It, I shouldn't say it's gross. It's just, it's different. It's 
not what I'm used to. I'm not having a good time at the moment. I know it's going to take me a minute to get adjusted to it. But it was hard to keep justifying drinking the whole milk when I looked, when I compared the amount of cholesterol between the whole milk and the fat-free the fat free milk. So my doctor will be pleased that I'm at least making these changes. So yay. How much else? It is snowy. I have a house to myself. Well, it's just me and the dog. And uh, I think I am going to play Stardew Valley all fucking day long and I'm pumped about it. Like maybe I'll go back and forth between Stardew and The Sims. We'll say maybe I'll even be a little spicy and throw some World of Warcraft in there. I started playing that again last week. I created a whole new character. I created a mage. I think I've ever really played a mage. I created a mage and named her Free Run. <laughs> like from the anime. I was like how is this name not taken? Like Come on, people, there's gotta be a mage named Freerin up in here. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Maybe I'll go wash my face after this. I'm gonna go finish my breakfast, let my dog inside. I'm sure I'll come inside. And hopefully I'll see you later. All right, bye for now. Hey, it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> So it seems the direction I'm going for these vlogs is Monday through Sunday, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, so it turned out that my son didn't actually get to race this weekend um, because uh, <laughs> he got sick. He came down with something and he was throwing up all yesterday and running a crazy fever. So I talked with him on the phone and my husband uh, basically all day and yeah poor kid poor kid was sick all weekend so he didn't even get to ski in his last ski race so such is life so they're actually on their way back now and they'll be home in probably about I think the last time I checked it was like three hours oh right now I'm just cooking up some lunch just waiting um, I have been playing the shit out of Stardew Valley. Uh, I haven't recorded anything. I'd like to redo my room, but I'll probably end up doing that like tomorrow sometime. Today, I'm just gonna chill and clean up the kitchen a little bit, but I'll do that like while I'm making dinner or after, or after dinner. Other than that, so crazy to think Easter is coming up so quick. I was just staring at the calendar. And this week we have my son has his Boy Scouts Court of Honor, which is where they get all like the badges and stuff that they have earned over the last quarter. And then we're going to a hockey game. And then we have uh, Easter brunch that we're going to do at the zoo. We do it every year at the zoo and it's just, it's so much fun. I make everybody get all dressed up nice. <laughs> And then we go to the zoo for brunch, and then we'll walk around the zoo. Hopefully the weather will be nice and not too cold. Yeah, so I definitely ate pretty not great this weekend, and I definitely can really tell the impact it's having on me physically, and I don't like it. So I'm definitely going to have to make sure that I have. Even if it's just having some, like easy, healthy, quick meals um, to do. I definitely need to make sure to have some more of that around. So that way I'm not tempted to like order. I should also delete DoorDash and stuff off my phone. I think starting this week, I'm gonna, or you know, starting on Monday, tomorrow, maybe even I'll start today, I don't know yet. Um, I really wanna do like a whole separate reading vlog thing. So I like this just just being like random chit chats <laughs> about life and whatnot. But I really want to really want to do some reading stuff too. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. Um, I'd really like to say that I'm gonna do another update, but I think we've all learned over this past week that um, I don't seem to update past. Um, what's happening in the morning. So 
I think maybe I'll just end it here. And if there's another clip, I'll edit this part out. But that's really about it for this vlog. I hope to see you all again soon. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. All right. Bye.